meaning that this patient, because it's in the abdominal area, may have had abdominal surgery. So they're doing a follow-up. Why are we doing the cube or why are we doing uh, upright? It's because when they do abdominal surgery, they want to make sure that they didn't cause damage or cause any air or fluid to leak into the cavity. So this is a follow-up. This is good for evaluating this, but what if there is free air? Where should free air be? Somewhere up here, right? You guys like this technique? It's too dark. You can't see anything. Would you repeat this? Yeah. I would. Because we're looking for free air up here. You can't see it. It's too dark. So yes, I would repeat this. You guys agree? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm glad you do. <laughs> okay, here's another one. All right. Um, fluid levels? We can see fluid levels, right? Because it's flat. Okay. Could this possibly be free air? Is that a, is that a feeding tube coming it's down to? It's a feeding tube. This is a feeding tube that goes into the, the duodenum of, the, of this child. Is there free air in here? That's free air. This is free air, guys. Underneath, right underneath the diaphragm. Yes? Free air. There's the air. Okay, upright abdomen. So remember your uh, abdomen series or acute abdomen series, one is a supine, the other one is upright. If they can't do upright, we do the decubitus. So here's the upright. Upright, five to 10 minutes, standing up before you shoot that x-ray, okay? Mid-sagittal plane. And again, one to two inches above the crest. Because we're including what? Diaphragm. The diaphragm. Well, am I not cutting the symphysis pubis? Yes. Yes. Do I care? No. Yes, not. I don't. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I guess not. <laughs> I don't care because it's what? In the other it's in the other image. It's on your supine. So I already got it. <coughs> so now I want to focus a little bit more on the, uh, the diaphragm area. So we're going to go one to two inches above the crest. 40 inch SID, done on expiration. Now again, don't be surprised if your technologist says taking a deep breath in and hold it because we're trying to push the diaphragm down to get a better visualization of that area. Here's another don't be surprised because they're trying to get the entire abdomen in there they may do it at 72 inches instead of 40 inches. Dr. F, why are they doing it at 72 inches? Because remember your abdominal series? One of the pictures is what? Is a chest x-ray. Their tube is already at 72 inches. Just shoot it. So now what they're gonna do is, okay, got the chest x-ray, now let's do an upright abdomen. Two inches above the crest, mid-sagittal plane. They'll keep their tube at 72 inches. Because bringing it in is too much work. Which leg is the MG subject in? Does the pen on the Lengthwise. Top? Lengthwise, up and down. Okay. Even for the chest, though? For the chest, it's crosswise. So they have to move the image receptor. Right. Okay. Yeah. So T, T7 for the chest, crosswise. Mm. Abdomen lengthwise, two inches above the crest. Again, they're keeping it at 72 inches because there may be too, it's too much work to bring it in the 40. But the other concept is here is they're trying to get as much abdomen in this, there as possible. So when they're doing it at 72 inches, they may center right at the crest instead of two inches above the crest because now they've got symphysis pubis and diaphragm when you have 72 inches. Does that make sense? Because your 72 inches is going to remove any magnification. The further the tube is, the more body parts I can include in my image. Okay? Just nuances. 
Okay, so upright abdomen. Visualizing any type of free air. So you're gonna be one or two inches above the iliac crest. This is just another way that you can do this. It's where you put the top of the image receptor right at your armpit. I just do two inches. Okay, do first a patient is in an upright position, right? You don't wanna do supine and then do this. So when you're bringing them into the room and they're all walkie-talkie, do all your upright images first before you put them on the table. Okay? So diaphragm is included, uh, unless the PHS is taken, no rotation, no motion, and exposure factors, okay? Um, according to that, that's free air, and I'm gonna have to agree with that. So that's free air under the left in the background. All right, questions? There's another one. Too dark? It does it does yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, I see it. <laughs> yeah. So we've got we've got diaphragm. Um I see I don't know if this is just diaphragm or the diaphragm's up here. If I can lighten this up, then I can tell you the separation between what is lung and what isn't lung, because it looks like this is a continuation of the lung. I guess not. Okay. Wow. Okay. AP or PA? AP. AP. AP or PA? AP. AP. Is there rotation? Yes. <coughs> right? Because look at this versus this. Which way are they rotated? Right. To the left. Towards the left. Remember it's as if the patient was looking at you. So this is the patient's left side. So if they're rotated on the left side, this is going to be bigger than this. All right. Well, that's some bad images. Okay. Dorsal decubitus. Dorsal decubitus patient is supine, laying on their back. Horizontal beam. Okay, again, it's a decubitus, except they're laying on their back. Why is this called a right lateral position? Because the right side's against the. Because the right side's closest to the image receptor. They're still in a dorsal decubitus because they're laying on their back. That's dorsal decubitus, meaning horizontal beam, and it's a right lateral because the right side is pressed up or closest to the image receptor. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Dorsal decubitus, why do we do dorsal decubitus? We generally do a dorsal decubitus, yes, we're looking for air and fluid levels, but it's also to rule out abdominal aortic aneurysm. Abdominal aortic aneurysms. You said it rules them out? Pardon me? It rules them out? Rules it out, rules out abdominal aortic aneurysm. Now, this is the cheapest way to do it, not definitive, because remember, the insurance game, they're gonna do the most cheapest ones first, okay? But the best way to rule up abdominal aneurysm are two things, either CT or interventional radiology, where we inject contrast right in there to see if there is an aneurysm of that aorta. But they'll do this first, okay? So, Again, we're gonna uh, place the patient on the back. Central ray is gonna be mid-coronal plane. SID is approximately 40 inches. Done, done on expiration. What else? All right. This is just basically telling you how do we know the patient's in a true lateral position. One set of ribs and vertebrae, right? Superimposed iliac crest. Why is it right instead of left if the aortic is on the left side? Why? It's just how the patient is. You, no, this is just an example. You can place. Oh, I can go left or yeah, right? Yeah, you can go either way. Yeah. It's just this title is specific to this position. Right. You can still do dorsal with the left yeah. lateral. It doesn't matter. Like it doesn't matter. So dorsal decubitus, again, used to uh, rule out 
abdominal aorta aneurysms, uh, calcification of the aorta, <coughs> umbilical hernias. You guys know what an umbilical hernia is? Okay, so that's where your bowels protrude through your umbilical area of your abdomen. <coughs> So it breaks through the um, peritoneal cavity. Peritoneum and yeah. Just... Okay. Okay, right lateral abdomen, right lateral abdomen. Again, this is just pertaining to this picture here. This can be done either left lateral or right lateral. Um, it's a right lateral abdomen with a horse, I'm sorry, with a vertical beam. Central ray is going to be two inches above the iliac crest and also at the mid coronal plane. The reason why you would do a right, I'm, I'm sorry, a lateral abdomen is kind of the same thing. You're looking out for aneurysms, you're looking for any type of calcification. This may also be done to um, evaluate umbilical hernias. This is not a common thing that they do, either one of these. Okay, but again, it's one of those things that you need to know. So dorsal decubitus, and then lateral recumbent abdomens with a vertical beam. Not commonly done, but it is. So there'd be no specific reason over choosing one over the other, right? No, not at all. All right, so here, okay, we talked about two-way, includes an AP supine and an erect. When doing an erect, make sure that you include the diaphragm. Uh, KUB, you've got acute abdominal series, which usually refers to the three-way series. Three-way, supine, erect abdomen. If you can't do a, an erect abdomen, you do a lateral decubitus abdomen. Which one, left or right? Left. Left only. Left only. Okay, and then a PHS to evaluate the area of the diaphragm. Two-way is just to abdomen, supine and an upright or a left lateral to cube. Okay. Uh, why is this here? We just, sure. we just covered all this. Uh, maybe just duplicate slides. Okay. Okay. All right. What's the most obvious error here? Yeah, but it's not. Uh, do we get a? Do we actually get a good shot of the diaphragm? No, not really. Okay, so that's. I'm gonna say it's because of that. <laughs> okay. Let's just go with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the most obvious here? Center too high or too low? Center too low. These are real bad images. I mean, they're not obvious, they lie. Okay, uh, KB, what is the most repeatable, obvious repeatable? In this okay, this is a KB, this is a supply. They clip the symphysis pubis. The symphysis pubis cut off, okay. Very good. Uh, how about here? <laughs> you got zippers, you've got jeans, designer jeans. You got the rivets, right? The rivets. You got yeah, maybe something here in the pocket. Uh, what is this? Is this part of the radiograph? No, no. Okay, this is like a ureter. It's a ureteral stent. So this is a stent that goes from the kidneys into the bladder. Usually done post-operatively or if there's an occlusion with the ureter, so they'll put a catheter in there to maintain drainage of urine from the kidneys to the bladder. I'm just wondering, do you see the other one? What over here? Kidney? What? Right here? That's no. a baby. In the first image, do you right see the second kidney, the left kidney? Do I see it? No. Well, kind of, but not really. 
The shot is there, but it's not really a good shot. There's no way that this was just like an emergency situation where they couldn't get them to take their jeans off. No. They got no pity for your jeans. They really yeah. just yeah. made that big of a mistake. Yeah. They should have just had them remove their jeans. Okay. okay, and then you said what happened here? Uh, they swallowed a baby. A baby, yeah. I have this abdominal pain. <laughs> Any chance you're pregnant? No. Yeah. No way. No, yeah, but believe it or not, though, did I tell you guys the story about my yeah my 12 year old? Yeah. I keep changing the year, uh, the age every year. Okay. Yeah, I know. She but the uh, young girl who came in with abdominal pain shot an x ray, and this is what her x ray looked like. She got a baby in her. Yeah, she had a baby in her. Mm -hmm. All right, guys.